All right, so this is the paintball marker. Uh, I'm just going to go over it quickly. I have it aired up right now. So the safety is on. Shed a little bit more light here. So the safety is on as you can see. But if you turn it facing back, safety is now off. Just going to now take the tank off so I can shift it in. But you can see, you know, I want to let out the air too. So once you've unscrewed that all the way, now done. You can take this off. And this is this is what you're going to use to put a tank in. It fits in there. This is Velcro, so you put it in, strap it on, put that in. It's a quick disconnect, so if you have a remote line, you can also do that there as well. But that's all it is, and the regulator is right there. So I'm just going to put the tank aside. The magazines work like this. Okay, this can come out, but it's being held in place by the magnet. And the magnet is, as you can see right there, okay? It's seamed, that's where it's put together. And once you get the files, you'll see. To get the um, pusher out, oopsies. Sometimes it's a little difficult, but there it is. And then the spring can come out as well. You can completely rinse it out if you need to, but I mean, one year, I haven't had a ball break in here yet. The spring is very, very gentle on it. It's a very soft spring, so chances of you breaking a ball in here is slim to none. Once that's almost in, then you take the pusher, put it onto the spring there, and then just push the rest of it in. And that's it there. Okay, and then that goes back in. Oopsies. That goes back in, and there you go. Um, what I'm going to start doing because of, you never know, it could happen. I'm going to put a bungee cord on mine as well. But I've, one year, so far it hasn't come out. It's magnetically sealed to the gun. There's the end of it. It's magnetically sealed to the marker. So I'm just going to flip this up now. And you can see the bolt. Just going to push that back in. So once you near the magnets, I am making a mod for it to put a, uh, if you want to put a hopper adapter on, you can, but it's mag fed. So that tip goes into here. And as you can see, it sits right down there. And all you do is push down. When you push, oops, when you push down, you'll see that that pops up now all the paint balls are going to feed through okay when you're done what I normally do is I'll put my hand here and push down push down on this and pull up on that just to make sure that it does seal if there any if there are any paint balls left in here it'll stop it from falling out and whatever is left will be left in there usually you can have two sitting in there um, each magazine holds, I'm just going to put that there for now, each magazine holds seven, 16 paintballs, but I wouldn't do any more than 16, um, because then you start putting a lot of pressure on the paintballs. So, the way you load them is you just drop it there, and like that, and push down. Like I said, the spring is very soft, so there's not a lot of force. All I'm doing is pushing it in. Mm. So yeah, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Like I said, you can get 17 in here, but 17 is... You're, you're putting more pressure on the paintballs than needed. Uh, the marker has been sanded, and I did put one coat of paint on it. None of the mags have been sanded. Um, I just left them as is when I'm when I'm playing with mine. Usually the paint will get chipped off of anything, so I just leave it unsanded. That's why I use black filament. Um, what else? What else? What else? The bolt can be removed. All you got to do is unscrew. The regulator adjustment is here. It's the it's a GOG, it's the GOG uh, enemy or even anything smart parts. It's just one of those regulators. Allen key goes in and you twist for up and down. Um, there are screws if you do want to take it apart. But I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't taken mine apart in forever. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is in there. Um, this is being held in place by that screw there, and it's a regular Picatinny rail. Okay, this you can take off, and you don't really need to run with it because if you if you don't want to run with that, that notch there fits into the back of there. So even if this wasn't there, this isn't coming off. So if you don't want a Picatinny rail and you don't want that on top, just take that off and you're good to go. You can probably print 3D print something else to put there if you want. Um, if you don't want this on, all you have to do is take those two screws off and this comes off. If you just want to run straight uh, remote line. So take that off, take it off, those two screws, you're good to go. Uh, this is the safety as I said. So bringing it back forward and it's ambidextrous okay if you need to take it apart you put it in that location and you just separate it it's magnetically held in place so when you put it together okay Oh, le right side, left side. Right side has the notch on it. So that when you do put it together, it operates as it should. You can put it on backwards, but then that means this, the way the safety works will be a little bit different. Okay, and that won't fall out. They're all very strong magnets. So, I mean, nothing's really going to fall off. the way the barrel works you have this here it acts as a spacer so that it stays straight in the in the marker hopefully aligned to that and all it is is a sleeve for the barrel this barrel is about that long so you're not going to be able to get your finger in there and do it so that's why you use either like that or like that and just Push it in and twist. If you don't want to use that, you don't have to. You can take it off and that's what it looks like without it. Um, so that's, as, that's how deep it is in the barrel in the gun right now. So you can't even see it. I like it. It keeps, it, it keeps the barrel, make sure that it's straight inside the marker aligned to your Picatinny rails. So this way once you're running you bang it up on something or whatever you know the barrels always pointing in the same direction whether you've taken it apart put it back together um, like I said to be honest with you taking it apart you don't need to it's a brass valve a lot stronger than the old plastic one they had um, all the lines are brand new uh, airlines uh, the airlines also have been uh, fastened to each of the plugs and stuff that I could to make sure that there are no leaks um what else what else what else what else i mean you do have a little slit here that you could run a, a a sling on if you want i've done it with mine 
I mean, I don't know what else I can tell you. It's comfortable. I mean, it's comfortable in my hand. Um, yeah. Any questions, just let me know.